A good practice is anchoring images. So to do that, just click the select tool, and then highlight the image, click the square uh, blue button there for the image and it would give you an anchor icon. Just um, do an alt click or just double click it. It would take you to anchor object options. So uh, what I normally use is inline or above line as the position and um, more often than not I use above line for the alignment, you can do a left, center, right. I normally use center. And the space before, you can adjust any time, depending on the layout again. And then click OK. So this image is anchored on the last sentence. So wherever that last sentence goes, the image would follow if it's anchored properly. The reason behind anchoring is that whenever we change like text or add more text before the images, it would just flow and would not have the text over the image or vice versa. So it's, it's really a good practice to anchor images so as to um, be ready as well if you plan to do it for an ebook an ebook version. So to do it again, just go to position and then choose inline or above line and then go to above line, center it. So the space before you can adjust it and if there's a text after the image you can adjust it as well like we, what we do with the paragraph styles 